Hey guys and welcome back to another video here with Angel Bee Designs. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what If you are in my Facebook group, <clears throat> then you probably already know that my Epson 7720 pretty much just quit on me the other day. Um, my magenta stopped printing altogether. All of the other colors still print just fine. It was just my magenta. I literally did everything I could think of. Um, I tried pushing air through the cartridge in the, the nozzle. I tried using cleaner. I tried using alcohol to wipe it. I just went ahead, I bought, I got a whole brand new cartridge, switched out the cartridge and it still wouldn't print. I mean, I did everything I could think of to try to get this magenta to print and it just wouldn't. So. I have had it for about two years now, two and a half years now. Um, so I got a good run out of it. And this was pre, I bought it pre-pandemic. So I think I only paid maybe $160 for it, maybe $170, something like that. Um, that's how much the printer was before the pandemic. Um, it was about $160. So that's what I paid for it. So for $160, bucks, got two and a half years out of it. Definitely wish I could have got more, but I didn't. So. What I had to do was I um, I was originally trying tried to buy an Eco Tank 8550, which is the wide format. I could not find one, not online, not any stores around me. I just could not find one. Um, as you guys know, I definitely need a sublimation printer. So I went ahead and I got an 8500, which is the same exact thing. It's just not wide format. Um, and since I don't sell my crafts anyway, um honestly i was like i don't particularly need the wide format i wanted it but to do the projects that i do i didn't need it so i went ahead and i got the 8500 the eco tank 8500 um so this video is going to be a kind of compare and contrast of verses if you will um of the two printers and my final thoughts on them so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the 7720 first all right guys so this is the epson 7720 um it is kind of big and clunky and heavy um but this is it i know that a lot of places it's pretty much discontinued now um it's really hard to get your hands on one um but this is like i said um in the previous clip i did get this pre-pandemic when it was still pretty popular um and this is the only printer i have ever used for sublimation up until a couple days ago um so when everybody would ask me about printers i never could really answer the question because this was the only printer i had ever used so um i'm, I'm happy that i'm able to kind of use another printer and give you guys my thoughts on it um some pros to this Epson 7720, it is pretty easy to work with. Um, it has the cartridges, obviously, that you have to use the syringe to fill. Um, it doesn't, ne you can't necessarily see when your cartridge is going to be empty like you can on the Eco Tank. You have to actually like lift the scanner unit and check your cartridge to see if it's empty. Um, the printer is not going to tell you, accurately tell you when your cartridge is um empty or being close to being empty um but yeah i got a really good color out of it um it has it does have the two cassettes it does have wide format printing um those are pretty much the pros now i never had any issues with it but since i have gotten the eco tank i will definitely say i am 110 percent more pleased with the eco tank over the 7720 and really it's just convenience it's not like um the color of my prints are still vibrant they're still pretty much this the same quality print it's just that the eco tank is easier it's sleeker it's smaller it's quieter um and it's easier to handle especially if you're a beginner to sublimation that this is kind of like monstrous and 
um it's just big and it's just it's just, it's a lot in comparison it's a lot okay so definitely in my opinion i do like this eco tank a lot better i should have been bought one honestly but i mean you know i bought this i said i was gonna ride with the 7720 until it died and it did go ahead and die but i'm gonna go ahead and take you over to my eco tank and we're gonna talk about the eco tank and i will point out the the obvious differences and then i'm going to go ahead and tell you why i like that one better all right guys so here is my new baby okay she looks so sleek and compare like oh my gosh that other printer and this has two cassettes as well okay just like the other one this also has two cassettes it's just so much sleeker um i wanted to get this car i really like this car because it's on wheels but i wanted to get this car and i did get it from michael's to put my cricut on and i wanted my sublimation printer and my Cricut on the same cart with my ink and I'm just trying to really rearrange and reorganize my office to maximize the space because it's not huge or anything like that so y'all when I opened up this printer and I saw that it was going to fit on this cart with my Cricut maker and free up some shelving space over on the other side of my office I was absolutely ecstatic I'm probably going because my I have a regular printer like that I use for print and cut and stuff like that that's the 7720 which is also huge and monstrous for no reason but I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy another one of these and just use it for my regular printer because I love this so much it's so I love things that are sleek and and pretty and you know cute and chic that's that's my type of style that's what I like and this printer definitely looks like that and it fits on this cart perfectly um so that's just automatic plus for me another thing is you can see the ink here clearly okay whereas with the cartridges you have to literally open up the scanner pull the cartridge out to check it and if you forget then you're just going to run out of ink. And if you run out of ink with sublimation, sometimes you have to do like 100 print head cleanings in order for it to recognize the ink again. Um, So I definitely love that the ink is visible here. You can clearly see when it's getting low. So you can just go ahead and refill it without having to open it and pull the cartridge out. Now, it's just so much more convenient having the ink displayed here. Okay, 10 times more convenient um and it's quiet y'all my 7720 you could hear it in the suite next door when it was printing okay that bad boy was so loud and this is so quiet like before if i was printing something i couldn't record and print at the same time because the printer was so doggone loud this oh i can do anything i want with this printing I can record I can do whatever I need to do because it's so quiet so oh I just I should have been bought a new printer but like I said I was I was gonna rock with the 7720 until the wheels fell off and the magenta wheel went ahead and it fell off and I was just like well I'm gonna go buy it I've been saving like I had printer money put to the side for a, a couple months now because I just kept on eyeing the printers like I said I did originally want the 8550 and if it ever becomes available like I have set up notifications so that if some of the stores around me get one or it's available online or whatever um I'll probably buy another one I probably will buy the 8550 once one is available for me to purchase um because I do like the wide format option to be perfectly honest so I'm probably still going to buy it um but i needed a sublimation printer obviously that's pretty much like the majority of what i do on my channel so i needed a printer but this 8500 um if you don't care about it not being wide format it's eight and a half by 11 is the largest it'll print or it's like eight and a half by 14 or something like that um but it doesn't do the 13 by 19 so if you don't care about that if you don't have ever have to print that big the 8500 is basically exactly like the 8550 it's just smaller that's the only difference um but yes i definitely 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 love this printer so much and like i said when the 8550 
um, becomes available. Um, I definitely plan on purchasing that one. So I'm trying to let me fix my camera here so I can give you guys my final thoughts. Um, here is like some of the prints that I did. I am doing an um, Amazon Tumblr video. And um, here's the images I printed for it. Um, they, they look really, really vibrant already. So the print looks good. The next video I upload will be an Amazon Tumblr video um, with these images. So you'll be able to see it on the Tumblr. So take uh, make sure you're looking out for my next video. So we can check out the vibrancy. But these, this already looks really, really vibrant. Even just on the A sub paper. Um, but yeah, all in all, I definitely give it a thumbs up. Like I said, the only complaint I have is that it's not wide format. And, um, I do want the wide format. And like I said, I probably will go ahead and grab it when the 8550 becomes available. Um, but yeah, the, I wouldn't suggest now I've seen a 7720s, um, here and there, but they're like, what, four, five, six hundred dollars. I this this Epson 8550 was six hundred dollars. So if you have the option to pay six hundred dollars for a 7720 or Epson Eco Tank 8550 or 85 um 8500, absolutely go with the Eco Tank. Now, if you're gonna get the 7720 cheaper, then that's a different story. You know, if you don't care about it being sleek and quiet and all those things, then yeah, go with the 7720. But if you care about those things and it's the same price anyway, absolutely go with the Eco Tank. It's just it's so much more convenient. Um, so if you're gonna be paying six hundred dollars regardless, go with the convenient Eco Tank 110 percent. Um like I said, I love it, but that's all I have for this video, guys. I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on the two printers, which one worked better for me, because um, a lot of people ask me these types of questions, but I never had any other printer, so I would just always be like, I'm not sure. I've only ever used a 7720, so I would suggest people um, YouTube it to find, like use my videos talking about the 7720 and then YouTube somebody else's video talking about another printer. But now I can kind of give my little opinion on these um, new Eco Tanks and I definitely love it. But that's all I have for you guys today. Um, definitely stick around um, or keep your eyes open for my next video. I will be doing Amazon sublimation tumblers and I will be printing from this eco tank so we can see how this print comes out I can already tell based off of how vibrant it is on the paper that it's going to be bomb okay so make sure you have your notifications on make sure you like share subscribe all that good stuff any questions comments concerns drop them down below thank you guys so much for watching I always appreciate it you guys have a great day